Hello everyone, my name is Artem Chilpachenko. I'm a conference interpreter from Almaty, Kazakhstan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a relay interpreting in Zoom. But first, before I start, I'd like to tell you one thing, that no relay interpreting feature is available in Zoom. For these purposes, the client or interpreters can use other different platforms like Kudo, Interprefy, Interaction, and others. The relay interpreting is needed where the conference is provided in multiple languages like English, French, Spanish, Russian, and Arabic. And in case if someone speaks French, for example, and you are working as an interpreter from English into Russian and from Russian into English, and in order to understand the speaker who is speaking now, we need to take the interpretation from the other booth, from the English-French booth, and whatever is interpreted into English from French, this can be rendered with your computer from English into Russian. Or there can be another case when someone is uh, speaking English, but her purpose is to translate into French. So when uh, someone is speaking English, the interpreting booth is translating it from the English into Russian, and in turn, you will translate it from Russian into French. This is the way how it works. So when such conferences are held in multiple languages and someone speaks French, but you don't know French, you can't just simply go to the client and say like, oh, I don't speak French. I don't want to interpret this guy, okay? So in this case, we will have to do some tricks with the Zoom app, with the Zoom software, so that our relay feature works. And now I'm going to show you how to do this in practice. So this is how our interpreting Zoom relay setup looks like. We have two laptops, one standalone mic, and one a Bosch interpreting handset. So the first thing we have to do is to log in into our Zoom application using the uh, email that you have given to the client for him to assign you as an interpreter. In this case, it is English-Russian interpreter. We followed the link, we got connected, and the client assigned us an interpreter, okay? This is the first laptop. In this laptop, you log in with a different email account that you have to create in advance a login in this computer as a listener. In this case, if you are a listener, but not the interpreter, if you didn't log in with the same email that you used for interpreting features, then you will see this icon that is called interpretation, but in my case, it is a Russian computer, so it's written uh, With these headsets, you will be listening to the interpretation in Russian by pressing this uh, Russian channel button, and using this laptop, you will be interpreting from Russian into English in this mic you will have to activate the mic but turn off the sound by pressing this button or by decreasing the volume level to the minimum you see there is no sound okay and this laptop uh, should not have the mic on it should be muted you can adjust sound here someone is speaking french you don't speak french you choose russian language in order to hear the interpreting from french into russian and in this laptop, you are interpreting from Russian that you can hear with these headsets into English. And so you are speaking in this mic, which is connected to this laptop, because in this laptop, you are assigned as an interpreter. And this laptop will be used for you to render the interpretation you know, either into English or into Russian. There is another important note. If you are using two Zoom apps at the same time with two laptops, it's better that you don't use Wi-Fi, uh, home Wi-Fi or mobile tethering at all. It's better that you connect either of these laptops with this WLAN cable. If there is another port which is um, Type-C, then you can use this adapter Type-C to LAN. But please keep in mind that you shouldn't load your Wi-Fi network with two laptops connected at the same time. So it's better that one laptop is connected with a WLAN cable and the other can be connected to either your home Wi-Fi or your mobile hotspot or whatever. This will make your life easier and this will allow you to avoid any connection interruption. There is another very good thing I'd like to show you is this a 3.5 
mini jack splitter that you can perfectly use when you want to work with your booth mate from your apartment or from specialized interpreting studio so this will be used to connect both handsets to one device so this is the way how it looks i really hope that this video was really useful for you thank you very much bye